everybody, we're just not hanging out. This is Strong Wire. We're talking about how this is a, a podcast uh, that we're doing now with all rebels inside the tech, how we move things around, how we do stuff, how we learn. You get to learn alongside me sometimes, like you are today. Um, I kind of know how to do it. I haven't done this in a long time. So now, here's the thing. We want to be able to do that on the fly. We don't want to have to come in here and go, okay, right click. You go to filters and you click on the filter that you want, right? That just takes so much time to do. Right? Takes so much time to do. Oh, I messed it up. Right? Takes so much time to do that. And why would you want to do that? It doesn't really help you while you're streaming. People have stream decks. People have this. Because I have one of the things that I do have is the stream deck. Small one. I don't have a big one. I I need a bigger one. That's what she said. Uh, uh, phrasing. Um, but what we're going to do right now is we're going to create a hotkey. So if in, 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 in OBS, you can create hotkeys. So in hotkeys... We're gonna go down and this allows us to choose filters. So we're gonna go to Edward and Dale. Edward, uh, I forgot. It filters the actual, I can't do it that way. All right, so we're gonna look for Edward and Dale. It's in alphabetical order, Edward and Dale here. So now, here we go. Here are the filters that we have uh, created. We had that move, second move, move, first move. So let's do, let me see what other um, shortcuts I have in here already, just so I don't mess anything up. Just quick scan, alt shifts. Alt shift, there's a lot of alt shifts. All right, so we're just gonna hop down into Edward and Dale here. We're gonna do, uh, oh, but then it goes into um, sources. So just make sure you go to, there's a section between sources and then um, scenes. It's not really well distinguished, but you obviously, when the alphabet starts over, that's where it comes. So we're gonna go to Victoria here. We're gonna go to say, move, first move. Let's do, um, Let's do control, control one. And then for second move is control two, right? All we did was you set these hotkeys right here. Um, let's do the magnifier. Where's the magnifier at? So all we did is we set this uh, right here, this move, second move right here uh, to make sure that we're able to do that. Uh, so that's where we're at. And so what all I need to do now on my keyboard, I should probably get a keyboard cam. On my keyboard, all I'm doing is control one or control two, control one, control two, control one, control two. All right, now, if I had my stream deck set up to this, you could create a, you could create a hotkey in here and go down and be like, uh, system hotkey. And then you could say, control one. And then you could create another hotkey. Or you could create a hotkey switch, right? You create a hotkey, this is a, and you go in here and you say control two. Or you create a hotkey switch so it bounces back between the two. And then you could say, control one, whoops. And control two. I can't trigger this because I don't have my stream deck hooked up. But I don't think I can trigger this as is. I can't trigger it without the stream deck. But this would serve as the same thing as me typing it in now. And you would have one button to switch between the two items if you're using a stream deck. And having those shortcuts is critical, yo. Shortcuts is, are the critical side of things. If you ever want to use them. On that note, oh, oh, by the way, one last thing I want to show you. So if I go to scenes and I choose Jennifer, right? I've now put Jennifer's scene inside of another scene. And let me add a background here just for poops and giggles. All right, I'm gonna add a background. All right, I'm gonna add a background here, right? Reshuffle the order of the sources. I think I'm gonna lock the background just so I don't move it around. I'm pretty sure even if I wanted to do this, right? I now have a nested scene in which I'm triggering items on top of it. So, you see this, even though that this Jennifer scene has these items in it, this Mason scene though, even though that I can manipulate this however I want, I now can do 
I now can do, let's do transform. Let's do like a, I don't know, rotate 90 degrees. I now can still use my same hotkeys to do things, even though that it's in a different scene and a different orientation. The reason why is because they're still applying here. Nothing is changing about that particular scene. That scene just happens to be in a different setting. That is one trick that Ian and I use frequently, is the concept of nested scenes, uh, which we'll get more into later. Everybody, have a beautiful, fantastic day. This has been All Rebels, Strong Wire inside the tech. We're back at it, y'all. We're back. Look, look, I figured it out. I, look, we figured it out. I just needed to come back live and explain how to do the second part of the advanced stuff. I didn't know how to do it. So I had to look it up. I had to play around for it. I know. I, I said it was done. And now I'm back. Hi, Victoria. I was like, how do I do this? And then I was like, I got to figure it out or it's going to bother me. So then I went and figured it out again. And now I'm back. Here's how this works, right? Right now, we have these couple things inside of this scene. It's bothering the crap out of me. We don't really need this one. This one's not there. I was looking at the wrong spot. So... The, what we figured out first time was that when we went to filters, there's different ways you can move things around up on the screen within the same scene if you want to, right? You could do things and use hotkeys if you want to, but the problem was we didn't know how to go from one scene to another and keep things moving. That's what I wanted to do originally.